Okay, today's topic is going to be about the Game Boy Color and specifically about screen, screen compatibility. Um, there's been a little bit of confusion, a bunch of questions about what screen you need um, for some of these older housings um, or previous gen. So there's essentially two different type of housings that we have. Three if you count this, but it's this, these two are the same. So we have the front only. Um, this is its own product listing by itself and it has these four different colors. So the front only looks like this. Uh, and you can notice that this is the same thing just with the rear housing. And you can tell by looking at this opening right here, the size of it is the same versus this is kind of the newer generation here on the left that fits the laminated screen version. So um, I think they're calling them... Um, I think Funny Plane calls it 2.0, um, Retro Pixel 2.0. It's a Q5 screen. So that fits this, it's laminated. Um, laminated, if you're not familiar, is essentially this screen, the Q5 that they're calling it, and it's stuck to the glass already. So you have it pre-attached, and then it goes in as one unit like that. I don't, I don't have these right now. Um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna stock them or not yet, but. Um, so there's plenty of vendors out there that, that actually have these, so, or the screens that fit these. Um, so then these, so this is 2.0, Retro Pixel 2.0, Q5 2.0. Um, it also fit technically if you, for some reason, wanted to fit the Q5 screen. I mean, it'll, it'll fit, meaning it'll, there's room for it. You can see it, it, you'd, need, you'd need something to 3D print something. Um, there's actually too much space. You don't have to cut anything, but you'd have to devise some sort of method, tape it, um, if you wanted to use it with the, this is what's called the 1.0, I guess you'd call it, the Q5 by itself, uh, Retro Pixel 1.0. It's, it's, it's the same screen, it's the same kit, essentially. It just doesn't have it glued to the front glass. So this, what these other screens are, or other housings are for, this one and this one are the same. So what these housings are for is they're designed to fit the Q5 screen, again, um, non-laminated 1.0 version. Or I, I purchased a stock of these. So these are generically called the IPS screen. I don't know, I'm probably not the best name for it, but uh, it's a, you'll see here, the shape is, is a rectangle instead of more of, maybe they're both rectangles, but this one's a lot longer in length and it'll fit just like that. And then you put your glass over here. So, um, yeah, so real quick, uh, you can, so what you would do is, if you purchase any screen, the first thing you'll notice is you know, these will come separate actually. But those attach just like that. With that little connection that just pushes on there. And then this end, got a PCB here somewhere. Okay. So this is your OEM board. So you pull up on these, like that. Pull it out and notice the conductive side of this flex is right there, those gold facing that way so you do the same thing so you connect this in into there and then you have to do the opposite pull those lock those in place and then once you do that you can either connect it up to a power supply or especially if you're using your if you're doing the front only and you're putting on a plastic housing on the back so you take your back and you kind of temporarily assemble it like that, put in your batteries. You'd have this already connected to your screen and then you turn it on, make sure everything shows up there. Um, a little bit about um, some functionality. So one of these, I think this one does brightness and this one does, um, changes the color palette. Um, if, you, if you ask me, that's a little bit gimmicky, but 
um, this this is useful. So I, I would what I do is I would see if you can get that to go behind where that IR port is. So there's that you know that dark colored um, piece of plastic that goes in there that covers that hole. That hole. Um, you can try putting it on the back of there. Sometimes it can still be temperamental because of the metal that's around it. But just try that if that doesn't work. Um, I mean, you could get really creative. That's actually kind of one of the reasons why I have this cut out is if you wanted to try that to put it actually, um, you know, devise some method with tape and kind of have it isolated there, the touch sensor, because you can't have it really touching the metal. I think some people may have actually had luck putting it on the metal. Maybe they put some plastic underneath it, but if you can get it to work, in theory, you should be able to get it to work and you can, you don't have to solder at all because if you're using your plastic back, you're using your AA batteries and then you just plug in your screen and it'll, it'll work. You got your backlit screen ready to go. So, um, yeah, so I'll, these are going to be on sale just because I need room. Um, so and now I'll have the screens that actually go with them because I know some people are sometimes having a hard time finding the screens. They're they're there. They're there. They're they're out there. Um, but I might as well just make it a little bit easier to um, get it all in one shot. But you will need uh, a rear housing of plastic of some sort. There's just tons of colors. And if I had to if I had to stock all these plastic parts, it would, it would just I, I don't have a lot of space honestly. So I have to be careful about skew proliferation and. Uh, the number of items I, I offer. So that's exactly the reason why I'm trying to get these out. Um, and and these, these are the, I think black is the only color I have in the front and rear of the Q5 1.0 um, screens out there. So I hope that helps. Um, just knowing that there's just a couple different screen options and there's a couple different, well, just two different front housing options. Um, yeah, so I just thought a video might be the best to explain some of that. If you still have questions, go ahead and um, send me a message via our, our website, and I'll get to you when I can. Thanks.